Good morning again, guys. It is still technically morning, at least for a few more minutes, for 15 more minutes to be exact. I have spent pretty much the entire morning so far doing super duper fun stuff, the most fun stuff ever, balancing my bank books. Which of course is something you love to do, but you don't do for me. Well, yeah. it's hard for me to know what you've done throughout the year because I don't yeah. know the details behind each transaction, so I don't know how to reconcile your stuff. Yeah, so basically I go through and I say, this is how much money I earned from this and this and this, and then I purchased this and this and this, and then we do a little addition and see how it adds up, see how much money I've made, how much I've not. Super duper fun time of year, especially when things don't work properly. Using a website called mint.com, uh, it's supposed to sync in all the information and everything. I didn't realize that you're supposed to log into it on a regular basis so that it can do that. And all the things it was trying to sync up only give like 90 days worth of information. So if you don't log in for six months or so, it gets nothing. So I'm doing it all by hand, which is loads of fun. Don't recommend. I will remind you this coming year. No, this coming year, I'm gonna do what I've been saying I'm gonna do for the last five years. As soon as I purchase something, I'm gonna put it in a little log. As soon as I get money from something, I'm gonna put it in a little log. Again, I've been saying I'm gonna do that for five, six years now, never done it once. I think I did really well at, at the beginning of 2014, and then I fell through entirely, immediately. What are you drinking? Dew shine? Dew shine. She's, she's hitting the shine early today. Actually, Duncan and I are sharing it. Mm-hmm. So. And it's just, it's Mountain Dew with cane sugar in it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm, not for me. Anything with real sugar in it, cane sugar, or uh, high fructose. That was a weird word. High fructose corn syrup just tastes weird to me now because I've been drinking diet drinks for so long. Well, that's a big box that just showed up. This should be the shelf that I'm hopefully going to be putting up there. Yeah. The one we picked up at Ikea and then forgot. So had to order a replacement. Oh well. And we have arrived and Duncan got to make the decision as to where we eat and he's apparently not happy about it. We're having pizza. Old Chicago pizza. Well, I made a big dumb mistake. Last time we went to the gym, I forgot my wallet. Oh, this is a dangerous place. It looks delicious. Look good? It's really good. Yeah. What do you think, buddy? Look good? Pull this piece of sausage off there. He's having to climb his chair. Well, that was tasty and dangerous. And he didn't eat much of anything. You ate too much? No, I did okay. Did okay? I ate a little too much. It's super windy out here, but we're going sort of uh, here, there, and everywhere, going shopping for baby stuff. Boy, it's windy. Bye-bye, baby time. Gotta get a, what, a car seat? Yeah. This is the one? Yes, this is one just like Duncan had. We found it. matches our stroller. I didn't know that. I just picked that one. You picked it. That's $200. Yeah, it is. That's why I'm always using 20% off for the gun Coupons are good. Well, that was entirely too much money spent, but we got a new car seat for new baby and some seat covers so that when the, the car seat is back there, it won't damage the seat. Duncan's got his little booster seat that he has to be in for a few more years, and it's damaging the seats as it is. So I think we got one for that, too. I hope we do. You hope that we do. Yeah. And it's just turned into sort of a rainy, nasty day at this point. Well, that was wet and nasty and not terribly fun. It was. It felt kind of like the uh, the days after Thanksgiving, between Thanksgiving and Christmas, when it is just absolutely nuts. But it's a rainy, nasty day, and everybody decided to come to Costco. So, no parking, and the entire store is filled with carts and people abandoning them. <laughs> well, we made it home, and I'm here for about a half an hour, unfortunately. I've got to get out, back out into the nasty rain, and uh, head out to D and D here in a minute. But I'm gonna take a couple of minutes. This RAM showed up today. I ordered it just a couple of days ago. I'm gonna stick it here in this laptop. What? What do you want? Want something. All right, RAM installed successfully. Come in here now and it says 16 gigabytes of memory, uh, 800 megahertz, 30, I don't know all the specifics there. If you're curious, here's more of the specifics. Core i7-4700MQ. And all in all, it's not a terrible laptop. That's a large part of the reason why I haven't really been looking seriously into replacing it yet. Figured I'd upgrade the RAM as much as I can, maybe swap out the hard drive for an SSD. I already have an MSATA SSD in here, but it when I put a regular hard drive in here, as well as the MSATA, it would only boot off of the main hard drive. I couldn't change anything in the BIOS to make it work right. So basically what I'm gonna have to do is put an actual SSD in here and then use the MSATA for all of my video storage. Probably work fine. Pick up a 256 or a 512 or something ridiculously cheap, so that'll work. And we are off. I wasn't there for long, but got an awful lot accomplished. 
got the RAM upgraded in the laptop, got uh, a bunch of stuff packed away. I've got a bag sitting here beside me full of Bluetooth headphones and speakers and things that I've already reviewed because I'm going to take them to my friends and see if any of them are interested, if any of them are in need of a pair of Bluetooth headphones or speaker or something, then I'll hook them up. And I also took a little bit of time there and worked some more on my tax stuff that I mentioned earlier. I've bought so many things on Amazon this year, just, you know, pieces and parts and whatever else. And because so much of it was purchased on gift cards, there's really no way to track it all. There's no export this as a CSV file kind of thing like I'm doing with everything else. So yeah, just as a recommendation, if you ever end up running any kind of online business, making money from something, you have to keep track of your expenses. Make sure you do it up to the minute because it is such a pain in the butt to do it after the fact. And I've done this literally every year since I've started doing this. Because in the first year, uh, I became a YouTube partner back in 2010 and started earning money from making videos. And I never kept track of it until the very end of the year. And then it was, oh wait, we've got to get everything together for our taxes. Then I had to start keeping track of it, finding all the receipts, finding all the expenses. It can just, ugh. it's nothing to complain about and I shouldn't be. And I'm not trying to, it's my own fault. But for now, as I was saying, heading to D&D. Hopefully we'll have some fun playing Pathfinder tonight. The other thing that I did while I was in there, I think I forgot to mention it entirely, I edited the vlog. I, I went ahead and took all the footage that I've done today, threw it into the editor, cut everything up. So basically everything up until the point where I show you the laptop has already been edited at this point. So I'm halfway done. Well, it was rainy and nasty outside and there was traffic and somehow I still managed to show up early. I think I'm the first one here. Guess I better head in. Now I want to try this with friends. You know, we have friends with cats, so I want to just go around and... Not a single you said they're cat. afraid of cat. cucumbers. Cat. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Lazigna. Mm -hmm. He's going to put one on this side. Mm. Oh, so it's an rice. apple cheesecake. It's a dollar rat. Caramel apple cheesecake. Caramel apple. Tasty. And we are done, and it is kind of ridiculously cold outside. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't film anything during our D&D our &D session. Had an awful lot of fun. Killed a lot of bad guys, and uh, with this whole campaign we've been doing, we haven't played together since, I'm gonna say June or July, uh, but the last time we played, we're storming this castle, and basically, instead of going ahead and fighting everything head on, we're, we're uh, hiding in the walls and popping out and doing random acts of chaos, which has been really, really amusing. But tonight, everything finally came to a head, so we jumped into the fray, as it were, and, and started attacking all the big bad guys, and took out the grand majority of the castle. Normally, the, the characters I play kind of stay toward the back, but I'm playing the monk this time. If you don't know anything about D&D or Pathfinder, sorry. But in particular, this character is basically the one that can stand up near the front, can take a bit of a pummeling, and still dish out a decent amount of damage without actually having to wear any armor. If you play it right, it can be a really cool class. Problem is that I spent the grand majority of the night rolling my dice and rolling really, really low numbers. So we still survived, we still did really well, we still ended up defeating all the enemies, and a lot of fun was had. If I haven't said it before, I'll go ahead and say it now. If you have not played D&D, Dungeons and Dragons, or Pathfinder, or any sort of role-playing game like that before, you definitely ought to at least take a look at it, see if you can find a local group, a local game shop, something. Because if you get with the right group, it is a ridiculous amount of fun. But I'm I'm gonna turn this light off and head home. And by the way, if I forgot to mention it earlier, uh, I took a bag, I think I said it earlier, I had a bag full of Bluetooth headphones and speakers and just various and sundry things. Basically like four or five pairs of Bluetooth headphones and four or five pairs of Bluetooth earbuds and a few Bluetooth speakers. And I just sort of laid them all out on the table there at my friend's house and said, I have entirely too many of these. I have reviewed all of these. Would you guys like any of them? They said, wait, what? You mean for free? I said, yeah, I'm, I'm seriously overloaded and I want to give them to people that need them and that will use them. And so of all the people there, everybody left with at least one thing. So I, I feel good that I'm able to help my friends out. And like I said, if I ever run into any of you in person, I will be more than happy to give you a pair of Bluetooth headphones and a battery and whatever else I happen to have on me, simply because I am completely and ridic ridiculously inundated with them. Problem is I just cannot justify shipping and I really don't want to have to deal with the, the issue of people paying me for things to ship them. Well guys, I've made it home. It is ridiculously late. Time to edit the vlog and head to bed. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today. Thank you for spending it with me. We will see you again tomorrow.